Greetings, this is Junior Martin of Bob Martin and the Whalers. The time has come for the lion to tell his story. And we have here the lion voice. So listen in and get nourishment for the stomach and for the head cup. Ja, Rastafari. Give thanks. Give thanks and praise. Yeah, this is Pagabens and time has come for the lion to tell them one story. This is the Lion's Voice. Stay tuned. Well, front to us, a son was born and a child was given. I want to ask you a question. Have you got your book? Ali Selassie's Ethiopia, Volume 1, The Rise of the Peace Warrior King. I've read the book in its entirety, and I must say it's very inspirational, very informative, and very, very historical, right? Let him call him. Christopher Ryan, when he was born, rain fall from the sky. Them call him Christopher Ryan, when he was grown in airplanes, he fly. They call him Christopher Ryan, I young break the chain, beep not, don't cry. Them call him Christopher Ryan, read your revelation, chapter 5, verse 5. Born near the city of Harar, the inspiration for Bob Marley's guitar. People crowd him like some big superstar. It no matter if I'm England. Uh, and, and Emperor Menelik, um, again, is coming off of the lineage of King Sahile Selassie. Can you just explain to the people who was King Hai, uh, Sahile Selassie, for those who are not familiar? Sure. So King Sahile Selassie was a king of Shoa. Uh, Shoa is a province within Ethiopia. Um, and he, King Saleh Selassie, is the grandfather of, king, of Emperor Menelik, and he was also the great grandfather of Emperor Selassie, also the grandfather of Ras Mokonen, who was the first cousin of Emperor Menelik as well. Okay, uh, and what you know, give us some 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 highlights about you know why he was an important figure during his time. Yeah, so uh, King Saleh Selassie was around during the era of princes, um, you know, but Shah was instrumental. Um, in terms of really the, the the if you look at you know the the descendants of King Saleh Selassie in terms of um, solidifying the unity of Ethiopia, right? Um, uh, you know you, you know through his descendancy, I would say is, is where the prominence really comes from from Shah. So Emperor Menelik, Emperor Selassie, Ras Mokonen himself, who is a descendant, um, uh, there are other uh, descendants as well um, who were able to. Uh, protect Ethiopia's borders. Um, Nugusul Negurgis is one, for example, along the Sudan-Ethiopian border. Um, he was very instrumental. He was later king of Gondar as well, um, despite his Shoan uh, ancestry. Um, and and they, they played a pivotal role in, in um, galvanizing all Ethiopians under one national identity um, and protecting the interests uh, and the territorial sovereignty of, of Ethiopia. So, um, I would say Shah is one house of the Salomonic dynasty. Uh, there, there are four. You have the house of the Salomonic uh, uh, dynasty from Tigray, uh, the Gondar Lasta, uh, Shawa, and Godjam as well. Um, and I would say the past, you know, 100, 150 years or so, um, I would say was dominated by the uh, by the Shawan uh, uh, kings as well. Maybe you know, starting from King Saleh Selassie through the rule of Emperor Selassie as well. And of course, you know. Uh, the daughter of, of Emperor Menelik, Emperor Zodi II, um, and Lijiyasu, the grandson of, of Emperor Menelik, you know, although they had connections maybe to other royal houses as well, um, you know, like the house of Wondo, uh, Lijiyasu through his father, uh, who was uh, King uh, Mikhail of Wondo, um, despite that, that you know, dual ancestry, they, uh, they all had ties to... Uh, the show in a royal house through King Salas and Lassie. Okay. Um, you mentioned the era of princes. These are things I wrote about in my book, mm -hmm. Haile Selassie's Ethiopia. And this is, you know, these are the things that made uh, Ayman fall in love with Ethiopian history because it sounds so fantastical. It sounds like something from Lord of the Rings. It sounds like something from Game of Thrones. It sounds like something from uh, you know, you got Dune coming out in the theaters, the era of princes, you know. Explain to people, you know, what was the era of princes in Ethiopia? Um, and then, you know, the the, the context, because um, King Sahaile Selassie, he actually established Shoah as a kingdom 
during this time, you know, before they were just races or, or feudal lords, but he became so strong um, internally that he was able to declare, and this was a time of puppet emperors, where the emperors really didn't hold the power. The power was held by the provinces, the races, the warlords, you know what I mean? Talk to us about, you know, from your overstanding as an Ethiopian, mm -hmm. what did you learn or what is your overstanding about the era of princes? And, and what time period was, you know, the era of princes, just for those who may not be aware. Right, right. So the the era of princes was uh, princes was a, a time where there were various provincial kings, um, and and to your point, um, they had what they called uh, ambawani, where these very powerful rasas and warlords would sometimes even appoint who would be who would be king, of course, of the anointed you know Solomonic line, and so <clears throat> there was a point where Shaw was was governed um, was was self governed or was um, uh, uh, you know, an independent state within uh, within Ethiopia. So, to your point, King Saud Selassie had declared Shaw as as a, a separate, independent um, kingdom, uh, and uh, it was Emperor Theodros who 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 came up from Gwanda, who actually then you know reunified yes. um, and uh, and reestablished a, a strong you know central command governing all of Ethiopia under one under one emperor. Definitely. Um... How strong, you know, a lot of, um, uh, I've, I've heard a lot of critics dismiss the Solomonic lineage of Ethiopia as a myth, as mythology. Um, how strong in terms of Ethiopians is the importance of that Solomonic bloodline or that dynasty? And you you grew up in the West, so you're, you're Western educated, the finest schools, but you also, you know, have this link through your mother directly to um, King Sahaili Selassie. How important is the Solomonic dynasty to Ethiopians? I know it's, it's very important. I mean, it's it serves as a premise of um, the, the monarchy itself. And in fact, there is uh, a book called the the Kibranegas, uh, the Glory of Kings, which documents and uh, you know um, explains the entire lineage from the time of King Solomon and Queen Sheba, how they bore a child named uh, Minilik, who was the first king of Ethiopia um essentially uh from the Solomonic line and Emperor Selassie himself is a 225th direct descendant of that Solomonic lineage and so um you know uh it's what qualifies someone to be an emperor obviously there was uh the the, the Zagwe dynasty which which came into rule in Ethiopia um I believe around the ninth century if I'm not mistaken um uh, but um or actually after that but um so the Zagwe dynasty also, although they don't have a direct line to Solomon, they're, they're, they do uh, talk about having a, a lineage to uh, King Solomon's brother um, and being descendants of that as well. So you can see that the, the linkage and connection to the Solomonic line is very strong um, and it really serves as a premise which qualifies um, uh, someone to be uh, so you can only become uh, an, an emperor or impress if you really come from that lineage as it pertains to the, the Solomonic dynasty um, and so all of the kings and queens were anointed um, as such um, so that you know people have different perspectives on it I mean um, you know there there's sufficient scientific evidence which suggests that there was an influx of, of people from the Levant area around the time that the Kabra Negus was written um, you know, documenting the, the, the history of uh, King Solomon and Queen of Sheba. So um, there is both scientific evidence and then a book which documents uh, the, the, um, uh, the whole the history behind the, uh, the dynasty. Well, from to us, a son was born and a child was given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called the Wonderful, Counselor, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Then he called him Christopher I when he was born, rain fall from the sky. Then he called him Christopher I when he was grown in near plains he fly. Then he called him Christopher I, I young break the chain, weep not, don't cry. Then he called him. Christopher I read your revelation chapter 5 verse 5 
then Born near the city of Harar The inspiration for Bob Marley's guitar People crowd him like some big superstar It no matter if a England or Cote d'Ivoire No matter if you're brown or black like a tar Haile Selassie, Sefi and all tribal Paratime for Yada Mount Zion Fi drive solar car from the car Straight to Zanzibar Who we are? The sons of Christopher When he was born, rain fall from the sky Christopher I, when he was grown in airplanes he fly Christopher I, the lion break the chain, we not don't cry Christopher I, we do revelation chapter 5 verse 5 Royal governor, from the age of 13 years Leave the palace, figure back in a school with him peers He's the head without fear, he's one to be revered When them call his name, then the heathen scare Plus the priest concern, and him teachers concern Cause all this little youth want to do is just learn But he waits his turn, till him turn the chance match The people rejoice when he crown as the brass they call him Christopher I, when he was born, rain fall from the sky Christopher I, when he was grown in airplanes he fly Christopher I, the lion break the chain, weep not, don't cry Christopher I, read your revelation, chapter 5, verse 5 well, Ras McConnell, call him eating with all him general them Say him funeral a come and him have something fi tell them Him say, we fight together since the days of Adawa Him say, protect my son and help him unite Africa Well, him generals, them start cry when them hear this sound Them say, your wishes are command and bow down to the ground When him funeral they come, it shock the whole town Fi see this little youth, him have a army surround they call him 